Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles. Uh, we're a bike shop. We don't do a lot of quads here, but we just got in this awesome Polaris Sportsman 500 high output. It's a very low hour quad. It looks to be in brand new condition cosmetically. It still has the original Polaris tires on here. Only has 74 hours on it, um, on the odometer. So uh, this is obviously not, I had a quad, I had a 500cc Honda quad and I ran it through the woods and it was all torn up. This one's obviously not been ridden much uh, through the woods or anything because all the graphics are in mint condition on it. Obviously not a bike that was torn through the mud or anything. It's, look, look at the A-arms back here, Kenny. The A-arms are in brand new condition. Uh, just beautiful, no, no damage. There's no damage on the undercarriage at all. I, I don't see a single scrape or scratch on it. Obviously something that somebody bought to ride around their backyard uh, or pull their little trailer to bring the trash out. It has a custom uh, Polaris trailer hitch on the back here. The trailer max weight is 1,225 pounds, so it has a hitch on the back, um, so you can tow your trailer around. Uh, again, these are the original Polaris tires. Take a look at these. They're the PXT Polaris Extreme tires. The rims, there's no dents in the rims anywhere, no dent on the running boards. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is uh, it's a 2006 model. It's been sitting for a few years. We believe the fuel injection might be clogged up on it. We don't really know. We're selling the thing as is. Um, so I'm gonna hook a jump pack to it. It needs a battery and it's gonna need some service. We're not a Polaris dealer. We don't work on quads here. We're selling it as is for parts or restoration. It's gonna need work on the, on the I believe the fuel injection system, but I'm not really sure. So let me fire it up for you. Uh, the engine sounds perfect. No rattles or rolls or shakes or anything, but it, uh, it won't, won't take full throttle. So um, it does need a repair. So with that, let me hook up the jump pack. We'll fire it up. Like I said, the engine uh, starts right up, but there's it's a 2006, it's been sitting for four or five years, so it's gonna need a little bit of work. Fires right up. Whoa. And uh, I guess I had it in gear. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. I guess the safety switches aren't in place. What's up, Mitch, you looking for me? Fires right up and it runs and rides, but it doesn't run doesn't run very good. That, that's forward. Let me show you reverse. Again, the, uh, the odometer is only showing us uh, 74 hours on it, um, and. Uh, I believe that with a little bit of work, this is one kick-ass quad. So this thing costs close to $10,000 new, and it's, it's in all original condition. Um, got the tachometer right here, a speedometer. It does it'll do 70 miles an hour. And it only has 74.5 hours on it, so. Good luck bidding. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America, God bless Polaris for making kick-ass quads like this. I'm going to go drive it down to the uh, showroom, put it on display when somebody comes and picks her up.